Lab Conco, manufacturing quality laboratory equipment since 1925. Your Lab Conco products have been shipped to you assembled and ready for connection to services and ductwork. This video covers installation of the Protector Solvent Storage Cabinet with molded epoxy work surface and the Protector Premier Laboratory Hood. As with any hood installation, ductwork leading from the hood to the outside and a blower, either remotely located or built into the hood, are required. Ductwork and blower installation is not shown in this video. Before placing the cabinet and fume hood in their permanent locations, ensure that at least 8 inches of clearance exists between the base cabinet and wall and the hood's exhaust connection will align with the ductwork. Carefully inspect the carton and its contents for any damage that might have occurred in transit. Do not discard the carton or packaging materials until all components are checked. Report any damage directly to the freight carrier. Remove the banding straps from the pallet. Next, remove the outer shrink wrap and protective cardboard. Remove the product shrink wrap with scissors to avoid scratching the cabinet. Remove the filler panel hardware from the back of the cabinet and set aside. Remove the plastic envelope that contains your installation instruction manual and accessory hardware. Refer to the instruction manual during installation and set aside the accessory hardware for future use. Place the cabinet on its back to install a leveling foot at each corner. One filler panel and panel angle are included with the solvent storage cabinet. The filler panel gives you the ability to close off the 8 inch chase between the cabinet and the wall while allowing access to any utilities such as plumbing, electrical, and cabinet venting. Remove the four screws from the rear corner of the cabinet, then attach the panel angle directly to the back wall of the cabinet using the same four screws. Place the base cabinet in the approximate location near the ductwork connection and eight inches from the wall to allow for utility connections. Use a level to check the base cabinet at the front, sides, and back adjusting the leveling feet as required with a crescent or open-faced wrench. Ensure the top of the cabinet is 35 and 3 4 inches above the floor. When a fume hood and work surface are ordered together, the work surface is shrink-wrapped to the fume hood carton. Place the epoxy work surface directly on the top of the cabinet structure. Align the front edge of the work surface with the front face of the cabinet. If you wish, you may seal the work surface to the base cabinet by applying a bead of RTV sealant to the cabinet top prior to setting the work surface. As with the base cabinet, your Protector Premier hood and carton should be inspected and any damage reported directly to your carrier. Remove the staples securing the carton to the pallet. Remove the outer carton. Do not discard the packaging materials until all components are checked for damages. Cut the shrink wrap with scissors to avoid scratching the fume hood. Remove the plastic envelope that contains your installation instruction manual and accessory hardware. Refer to the instruction manual during installation and set aside the accessory hardware for future use. Leave the fume hood attached to its shipping skid until it is as close to its final location as possible. Remove both side panels by removing the Phillips screws. Remove the four bolts that secure the fume hood to the skid. To protect the fume hood from damage in shipment, the sash weight has been secured to the back of the fume hood with four screws. Remove the screws and make sure the sash cables are on the pulleys. Remove the two plastic straps that hold the sash in the closed position. Raise and lower the sash to check for smooth operation. When lifting the hood superstructure, hold the hood only by the side rails and back to avoid any damage to the hood. Do not lift the hood by the airfoil. Place the hood so that the rear angle is flush with the back edge of the work surface. The remaining overhang at the front allows for proper airflow. Adequate space is provided behind the base cabinet for routing of utilities and service connections. You can direct inlet tubing to the service fixtures through the openings on either side of both the hood and work surface. Before making any electrical wiring connections to the hood, 
locate and refer to the identification plate for your hood's electrical specifications. Both the identification plate and the electrical boxes are accessible by removing the front panel. The electrical services can be routed from the top to the electrical boxes, or they can be routed from the utility space behind the base cabinet and directed through the service area up to the electrical boxes. An electrician should wire the hood according to local codes. The fume hood should be sealed where it meets the work surface to prevent spilled materials from collecting between them. Seal the hood by applying a bead of RTV sealant between the hood and the work surface. Once all electrical and plumbing connections are made, replace the side panels with the Phillips screws. Attach the filler panel to the panel angle with the hardware provided. Your solvent storage cabinet comes with one adjustable shelf. Locate the four shelf brackets included with the cabinet's leveling feet and place one bracket in each of four matching shelf positions located on the interior walls of the cabinet. Make sure that the shelf brackets are located at the same height to ensure that the shelf will be level when placed in its final position. To install, simply squeeze the shelf bracket with pliers and place in the shelf positions of your cabinet. Lift the shelf over the brackets and lower into position. Remember to inspect the carton and products and report any damage to your freight carrier immediately. Leveling the base cabinet is essential for proper hood operation. When lifting the hood superstructure, avoid lifting by the airfoil. Align the rear of the fume hood with the back of the work surface to provide the appropriate overhang at the front of the hood. The sash weight is secured to the back of the hood for shipping. Be sure to remove the screws before lifting the hood into place. Always check the electrical plate for information about your hood before connecting any electrical service. Refer to your instruction manual for complete installation instructions. For technical questions concerning fume hood installation, call a Lab Conco product service representative at 1-800-821-5525 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time.